Wow. Um, you know, I want to thank everyone, and I hope you and your families are well and safe, and the frontline workers as well. And it's an um, honor and privilege to stand with these women and make history once again. We also want to recognize and congratulate the other inductees. Dennis Vandermeer, Leighton Hewitt, Conchita Martinez, and Goran Ivanisevich. We are, we are the original nine. Valerie Ziegenfuss, Christy Pigeon, Julie Heldman, Peaches Barkowitz, Carrie Melville Reed, and us for believing the original nine belong in the International Tennis Hall of Fame. And you, you see the two members that aren't with us. Uh, we wish they could be with us tonight. The nine of us, along with our fearless leader, Gladys Hellman, had one vision for the future of women's tennis. We wanted any girl in the world, if she was good enough, to have a place to compete, to be recognized for her accomplishments, not only her looks, and most importantly, to be able to make a living playing professional tennis. And today's women's professional tennis players on the WTA Tour are living our dream. Women's tennis is the leader in women's sports. Thank you. Hello, I'm Carrie Melville Reed. I just want to say what a wonderful honor it is to be here and to be inducted into the Hall of Fame with these, these great girls. It's, it's amazing to think that 50 years ago, I was playing here in Newport in, in the first, definitely the first Virginia Slims tournament here, 50 years ago, and I was lucky enough to win the tournament. On the, la on the last point, we went to a tiebreaker um, in the third set, and Jimmy Van Allen was here, and he was like waving his flags around, you know, it's the first tiebreaker coming. And anyhow, it went to four points all, and um, we played one point for the match, and I won. <laughs> but um, I just want to say, you know, looking back from then and looking how far women's tennis has come in that time, it's really amazing, and I'm really proud to have been part of that. I also want to say a little shout out to Judy Dalton. She was the other Aussie on the original nine, and she lived in, the, in Melbourne with me, and I used to you know, play a lot with her, and she was a little older than me. And so um, when you know, we were deciding you know, whether we'd sign up on the original nine, I was looking, you know, Judy, she, oh, it's good enough for Judy, I'm doing it. I think if Billie Jean's doing this, I think, I, I think this is a good thing they're putting there you know, their tennis careers on the line, possibly. So um, I decided to join the original nine. I'm really happy that I did. Thank you. Now we're going to hear from our friend in Australia, Judy Dalton. Thank you, Billy. Um, hi, girls. It's just great to see you, but so sad I'm not there with you, but you know, I am here as well. And to Kerry, thank you for those very good words. Um, it's an honour to be part of your business. I just want to thank you all for your friendship and support over all the years, and also that we that we be part of what we created history, which was really special. I'd also like to thank the board and the Hall of Fame for recognising us for what we did. And also, I hope that you have difficult times. I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for the honour. Okay. My name's Christy Pigeon. In 1968, I broke into the international tennis scene 
And at that time, women played on the back courts and women's sports were trivialized. The same year at age 17, I became the top junior in the world by winning Wimbledon in the US title. And I set a new goal and that new goal was to go to college and play on a team and receive a scholarship. No such thing. The phone didn't ring. Then in 1970, Jack Kramer got aced by nine women. <laughs> we, we were misfits, troublemakers, rebels, but we were just crazy enough to change the world of tennis, to, and that we tried hard, and sure enough, we changed it. And I'm most proud of our efforts that led not only to a much broader range of opportunities for women players, but also for other sports women and collegiate athletes as well. And today I'm honored to receive the highest accolade that can be bestowed on a tennis player. And I'd like to thank the International Tennis Hall of Fame patrons, directors, staff, and volunteers for being here now and supporting us today. We certainly all have come a long way, baby. <laughs> I'm Valerie. Thank you to the Hall of Fame committee for selecting us into the hall. This award means the world to me. It is by far the biggest honor I will ever receive. This award means our story is officially part of tennis history forever and ever. And it means for generations to come, my relatives will be able to trace their bloodline back to me and discover our group's contribution to the world. That's fun. Just think, we grew up with white tennis balls, wood rackets, one tennis magazine, world tennis, and no Stan Smith Adidas shoes. <laughs> What is even more amazing is we're older than the internet, color TV, personal computers, and cell phones. Not to mention our friend Alexa. And by the way, she knows who we are, and she even pronounced Barkowitz and Ziegenfuss correctly. <laughs> Talk about you've come a long ways, baby. The game of tennis has always given to me more than I ever could give back to it. The game prepared me for adulthood. It gave me skills to earn a living, and it gave me friendships that have lasted a lifetime. Um, tennis has always been there for me. It is my uh, part of my past, present, and hopefully my future. It has given me so much joy playing it, coaching it, following it, and parenting it. I am very proud that my daughter, Allison Bradshaw DeNike, played the woman's tour for three years. Maybe one day her children, Matthew and Ashley, will follow in our footsteps. Having said all that, there is one thing I have loved more than tennis, and that is being a mother to Allison and my son, Michael Bradshaw. We have all received so much from this game and standing here just proves even more that tennis is a game that never stops giving back. I'm so happy to share this honor with my fellow Original Nine family. Peaches, Nancy, Judy, Carrie, Billie Jean, Rosie, Christy, and Julie. I love you guys. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Julie Heldman and I'm a proud member of the original nine, and I feel both thrilled and profoundly honored that the Hall of Fame is inducting us as a group and acknowledging our contributions to women's tennis and to women everywhere. By now, most of you have seen the iconic photo of our group taken in Houston in September 1970, just before the start of the groundbreaking tournament that we have come to celebrate. The photo shows eight top women tennis players grinning and raising $1 bills alongside my mother, the architect and engineer of the early tour. She is no longer with us, but we remain grateful for all the miracles she pulled off. Yes, 
There were eight women in the photo, not nine, because I'm not in the photo. I hadn't planned to compete in Houston because at that time I was so deeply wounded physically and mentally that I couldn't compete in a tournament for another five months. But I, like the other eight women, understood the importance of the moment. And when I heard that my pals and rivals were taking a risk for women's tennis, I jumped in to join them. So I competed in Houston by playing just one point out of solidarity to stand up against the male-dominated tennis associations that were threatening our right to earn a living. Billie Jean King and I went out on a side court and after just a few moments of pity pat tennis, I intentionally hit the ball into the net, an act that was totally foreign to my nature. <laughs> Once we cemented the deal by shaking hands at the net, our group became the original nine. The nine of us were rebels, but we were not alone. The Houston tournament could only accommodate eight players, but plenty more women would, take, would have taken the risk if they'd only had the opportunity. Sure, it's true that not every woman player chose to join us right away. But let's not forget that soon after the tour got underway, women players arrived in droves from around the world, ready to stand together. Without that kind of solidarity, the tour might have fizzled out quickly. The original nine are being honored today for our courageous stand, but also as the symbol of all the early competitors on the Women's Pro Tour who banded together for the present and future of women's tennis. This honor has been 51 years in the making, but it, re it remains exquisitely timely. Since 1970, vastly increased numbers of girls and women have participated in sports and many have excelled. And once again, the sound of rebellion is in the air, spearheaded by the women's national soccer team, but repeated throughout women's demand to be respected and paid for doing what we did best. By honoring the original nine today, the International Tennis Hall of Fame is sending a message to female athletes in all sports. The message is, keep fighting. Your time is coming. I, I, I am frightened to death of all those speeches, and uh, I'm supposed to be the closer. So um, I'm going to close this uh, wonderful, wonderful evening. Um, uh, this special evening uh, by congratulating the past honorees, uh, Oren and everybody, uh, Dennis um, and Conchita, my dear friend over there. Uh, and special thanks to all the board members uh, here at the Hall of Fame. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, also special thanks to Alana Kloss, uh, who really uh, was behind the scenes in helping all this happen with me. Um, special thanks to all of you for the for completing our journey and allowing the original nine to once again make our history in the game that we've loved and helped shape into the future. To my warriors who stood tall and invincible so long ago so women's tennis could be what it's become, the showcase for women's sports. One last time, I am proud to stand with them and before all of you as a humble believer that anything is possible if women stand together as we were and still are. So I can't thank you enough. It's a great moment, you know. Twice is really going over the top for, for, for Billie Jean, Nancy Ritchie, and I. So, But this is so very special to share it with these wonderful women. Thanks so much, Hall of Fame. Congratulations to everybody. And my dear friends, thanks for making the trip because you make it all happen. Thank you. And Anne-Marie, we cannot do without you. You are a star with your staff and everybody. Thank you. <laughs>